This is how to power up the Model M1. You have two options. One is to use camcorder batteries, and the other is to use a USB Mini B cable. The preferred method is to use camcorder batteries because by design intent, the Model M1 is supposed to be ultra portable for personal PEMF. But you do have the option of using a USB Mini B cable if you want to run the M1 for long periods of time without having to change batteries. Now the, use, the reason that I use an USB Mini B is because it's a very strong physical connector. And even though it's not the latest USB connector and it's not the smallest USB connector, it is the physically strongest USB connector. So by using the USB Mini B, you're a lot less likely to have to send the device in for warranty repairs. This is how you insert the battery into the MicroPulse Model M1. You line up the gold pads on the battery with the gold pins in the M1, and then you gently slide it in from the left, snapping the battery into place. To remove the battery, you just push on the base and lift it out. Slide it back out to the right. Don't put a side load on the gold pins because you can snap them off. As you can see, the gold pins have springs on them. If I take this nail, you can see how I can push the pins in. They push in from left to right, but you don't want to push down on the pins because you can break them. The power switch selects between battery and USB. When the power switch is down, it's powering from battery, as you can see. Switching the power up would power from USB. If the USB is not connected, that turns the device off. If you insert a USB mini B cable, it will power the device if you plug the other end into a USB charger. You can just remove the cable and power the device by battery only, or you can power the device by USB only.